Hi friends and favorite shoppers. Welcome back to my channel. I have another Bath and Body Works candle haul for you today. Um, I have been ordering several times um, because they just keep putting the candles on sale. So um, I purchased some one wicks when they went on sale for $6.50, which in the fall they did $5.95, so it was a little bit more than the fall sale, um, but still a good deal. Then I bought some when the three wicks went $10 off, which made them $14.50, and then they decided to put the three wicks on sale, buy one, get one free. So I took advantage of all three deals, and I think the three wicks are still on sale right now for $10 off. Um, so I am just gonna unbox these with you. A lot of them that I ordered, I really took subscribers' recommendations into consideration. So I'll give a shout out to anyone who recommended a fragrance that I bought. Um, the first shout out, I'm just gonna say right off the bat, I tried to order Tree Farm. Um, it looks like Yasmin is the one that recommended it. I purchased it, I was ready to receive it, and then I got the email from Bath & Body Works that the item was canceled from my order and refunded. Um, but then I went on the website the next day and it was still available. So I'm still debating purchasing it. Um, I really want it and I believe it's an online exclusive so I can't just go to the store on my way home from work. Um, but I have plenty others to unbox here with you today. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, this is just a hobby of mine. Uh, my name is Mary and I just love to shop and share those things with you. Uh, my channel name is For the Love of Hauls. Um, so it's just a fun space to share what we love. Um, so I hope you sit and stay and watch this video. And if you like it, be sure to subscribe. Um, also give it a thumbs up and then click the bell so you're alerted to any future uploads. So if all of that sounds good to you, I'm just gonna jump right in. Okay, so I'm just not gonna open these in any sort of order. I am just going from the top to the bottom. Um, but this first box looks like it is some single wick candles. So hopefully they all arrived in one piece because um, I've had some arrive broken before. So it's interesting. Most of them are just stuck in here. Bubble wrap, and then there's one that came in this cardboard box. So um, in this order, I also ordered a scent portable and some refills. So I'll show you all of that, um, but I'll start with the candles. So first up is, okay, so this wasn't a recommendation, although I think some subscribers commented that they love it, they burn it. Um, it's Twisted Peppermint. So I, um, on my last video, gave a first impression of um, crushed candy cane. And then, you know, we talked about Twisted Peppermint, which has been around, it's a, a favorite. And so when the single wicks went on sale, since I have a three wick of the um, crushed candy cane, I thought I would just take advantage and get the Twisted Peppermint, which, oh my God, I love it. It's cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, fresh balsam, a hint of musk. Um, so I'm sure most of you already have this, already burn it, um, unless you don't like it. But this is Twisted Peppermint. All right. Next up is Peppermint Marshmallow. Um, I don't believe anyone recommended this. Um, I got it because if you watch my channel, I say this in every Bath & Body Works video, I love anything with marshmallow in it. So I saw peppermint marshmallow. I was super intrigued to see what that would smell like. Um, so let me look up the notes and then we'll give it a sniff. So peppermint marshmallow. This has crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallows, and powdered sugar. I really like it. Um, the peppermint isn't too strong, balanced with the marshmallow, it gives it that like really creamy, sugary scent. So if you're not a huge fan of the Twisted Peppermint or the Crushed Candy Cane, I would definitely recommend Peppermint Marshmallow because it's a more balanced fragrance. Oh, that smells really good. 
All right. Next up. Okay, so with the single wicks being so cheap, I took advantage and just stocked up on some of the classic scents. So here we have Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, this has been around forever. Um, there's some loose uh, wax in here. So Vanilla Bean Noel is all a classic that always came out with Twisted Peppermint and Winter Candy Apple. Um, so let me look up the notes real quick. Uh, vanilla Bean, Marshmallow Fluff, and Vanilla Cake. So of course I love it because it has that Marshmallow Fluff. It's a very creamy vanilla scent. So um, again, another classic favorite. All right. Next up, we have, okay, so this one is Snowy Peach Berry, and this was recommended to me by Gloria C., one of the subscribers. So, this very much reminds me of another scent, Snow Peach Berry. I can't pinpoint what it reminds me of. I'm sure there was another holiday scent. I can almost picture it. It also it had a purple label on it and it came out one year. Maybe it was the same name. I don't even know. It came out one year when I worked at the store um, with the Twisted Peppermint, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Winter Candy Apple. It was the fourth fragrance um, and it had a, a sparkly purple label. So it may be the same. So this smells very similar. I really like it. Just like a, it's very light fruity flavor scent. Um, so let me look up what is in Snowy Peach Berry, although we can guess some of the fragrances. We have Sweet Peaches, Tart Cranberry, and Sugared Must. So um, that is Snowy Peach Berry, and it's gonna bother me that I can't remember the name of the fragrance from way back, but this smells really good. So thank you, Gloria, for the recommendation. And then the last single wick candle in this box is Slay All Day is the fun name on it, but really it is Mary Cookie, which also was recommended by Gloria C. So um, it's cute with the Slay All Day label. Um, so this, um, let's see what is in Slay All Day, Mary Cookie. Fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla. So it probably smells like, um, just like cooking, baking uh, for Christmas. Oh my God. This reminds me so much of an old fragrance they used to carry. If you watched my last video of the Simply Divine Cherry Pie, it doesn't smell like that, but another fragrance in that line was Frosted Buttercream. This reminds me of that so much. This is delicious. Oh my gosh, thank you Gloria for making me buy this scent. All right, so that was it for the candles in this first box. Next up, I am going to show you the scent portable that once I saw it, I couldn't pass it up. I had to have it. I just am obsessed with these red trucks. So this is the new scent portable I picked up. It's got the red truck hauling the fresh cut Christmas tree. Um, it even has a little Christmas tree stump on it. This is so cute. And I love that the scent portable is not a twist top. Um, I love that it opens like a compact and it just clicks into place. That is fantastic. So in my intro, I mentioned I couldn't get the Tree Farm three wick candle. It was canceled on my order for some reason, even though it looks like it's still available. But lucky enough, I did pick up a scent portable Tree Farm. So I'm definitely going to get a chance to smell it. And maybe if I put this in now um, and I really like it, then I'll just splurge and get the, the three wick and pay the shipping cost. So I got Tree Farm in the scent portable. Um, and then I got the Frosted Cranberry, which is a fragrance that has been around forever. I prefer Cranberry Woods, um, but Frosted Cranberry was a good choice for the, this time of year. And then Winter Candy Apple, of course. I love this fragrance, we'll never get sick of it. Um, so that was, they were I think three for nine, and the scent portable was full price, I believe, it was $8.50. Um, but 
how could you say no to this? So stinking cute. Um, okay, so that is the first box. Let me get the second box open and ready for us, and we will see what else I picked up. All right, I am ready to unbox the second shipment with you. Looks like we have some three wick candles. I think that's what these last two boxes will be. Um, they came nicely packed in the cardboard box, so that's always nice. All right, let's see here what the first one is. Oh my God, this package looks beautiful. Okay. So this one was recommended to me by Michelle W, one of the subscribers. This packaging is beautiful. So not necessarily recommended. I think she said she was burning it and it was interesting. So that led me to order it because interesting could be good or bad. And it's um, interesting to just uh, kind of learn about a new scent and see if you like it. So this is the Frosted Spearmint. Look at how pretty that label is. Oh my goodness. So Frosted Spearmint, we have frozen apple, snow-capped mint, creamy sandalwood, and iced musk. So let's see what this um, interesting fragrance Michelle W. mentioned is like. This, it's so clean and fresh. And I smell the spearmint, but not much. Um, wow, all, I don't, I don't smell apple much. I do smell sandalwood somewhat. It's just, it just all blends together. I'm really curious how this burns. Um, because it's a very light, clean fragrance. So if that's kind of your, your preference is not too strong, very clean, this probably is gonna be a scent you will love, um, but I can't tell you one way or the other and neither can Michelle W other than it's interesting. So Michelle, if you have an update after burning Frosted Spearmint, go ahead and comment below and let us all know. But mm, I think I like it. All right. Next up, we have, okay, this was the third recommendation from Gloria C, and it is Salted Caramel Eggnog. Really pretty gold labels in this are gooey caramel, fresh sea salt, dolce de leche, sweet whipped cream. Um, so let's give it a sniff. Oh my God. This smells so good. It's funny that it's called eggnog. Um, I guess the eggnog comes from like the whipped cream and the caramel maybe. I've never made eggnog and honestly, I can't even tell you if I've ever drank it. I just don't like the idea of drinking eggs. Um, but this smells so good. This could also be burned in the fall, I think, because of the caramel kind of fragrance. Um, that smells delicious. I may have to drink eggnog after sniffing this. Um, so thank you for the recommendation, Gloria. All right. And last but not least, out of this box, we have ah, one of my favorites. This wasn't a subscriber recommendation. This is just a, my favorite. As I mentioned before, I prefer Cranberry Woods over Frosted Cranberry. Um, so in Cranberry Woods, you get tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar, and golden amber. I just love it. It's just a more complex scent than just like a cranberry, although that's obviously the main note. It just smells really good. I've been burning Cranberry Woods for years. All right, so that is the second box. Last box, I just have two single wick candles left. The first one, we have very pretty packaging. Um, this is just beautiful. Look at all of the silvery snowflakes with the blue um, tint to it. This is Winter Clove. Um, this was, I think, the most recent recommendation on the video by Trish H. Um, so this has fresh ground cinnamon, sugared apples, and rich vanilla bean. 
So I asked her if it was spicier than the classic winter scent, which I think is already spicy. And um, let me see here. And she said it is spicier and also online only. So um, I have to purchase it online. So let's give it a sniff. Ooh, that is spicy strong clove in there um like the, the cinnamon just spices all, I feel like I can taste it when I smell it because it's so strong this is very similar to winter I think but definitely as Trish said um spicier this may be one you may not want to burn while you have company over because people sometimes are sensitive to strong fragrances this would probably be one you could burn um like an hour before company and the scent will linger after you blow out the camp candle so um i think it's it's a perfect winter fragrance um i think trish was right she said she's gonna stock up on it i may have to agree um i've always been a winter fan i have um, from working there as employees at the end of a season, um, well, in store, we would burn the fragrance oils um, because they were very potent. And then we wouldn't burn through, they'd send us like a whole bottle like this size. We wouldn't burn through that much so we could purchase them for $5, which was an insane deal because just the little bottles alone, I think were like seven fifty dollars or something. So I still have one of the winter um, fragrance oils to burn and I put it on my burner I can only burn it for like a half hour because it's so potent so um, I'm really excited to just burn this winter clove um, plus this packaging is beautiful so thank you so much Trish for recommending winter clove and then last up we have, um, I picked this up just because I needed to add a second one with the BOGO and I don't, I don't think I have, oh no, I did get, anyway, let me show you first. It's spiced gingerbread. I mean, look at how cute the little gingerbread men, maybe and women are. Um, this has vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, fresh ground nutmeg. Um, I don't have very many gingerbread fragrances, but in my last video, I think, I think it was maybe in a fall one, I can't remember, I got gingerbread marshmallow and I burned it all day yesterday and I love it. So again, the marshmallow and maybe I'm a fan of gingerbread, I've just never really given it a try. So let me see how I like this. But first off, I really love that the, the um, top is gold to match this like I don't I guess there's been a few that are different colors majority of them are just silver um, so I just love the packaging on this this is another one that reminds me of a different fragrance um, probably a fall fragrance um, hmm. I'm looking over at my stash that's on display but I like it I I think it has a hint of spiciness, um, but still like that creamy vanilla. It really balances and creates, I think when you burn a scent like this, it makes your home feel so much like home um, around the holidays. So I, I think I'm a fan of spiced gingerbread. All right, so that is all I have for you for the candle haul. Um, I don't know if I'll order any more. I think I have plenty to get me through. But as always, comment below with your recommendations, your favorites, or even some that you ordered that you weren't a fan of because you can help us out and maybe we also won't like those fragrances. Or at least going into it, we may know that it may not be a top favorite. Um, so be sure to comment below. Um, I am in the process of making a video of my holiday decorating. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to get around to it because 
it was just so lengthy, but I'm gonna try. Um, I have most of the decorations done and up. You can see behind me, um, I have my staircase wrapped. I have a sled with um, lights on it. I have the light, tr light tree behind me. Um, my house has just transformed. And the point of the video was to kind of show you before and after. So I'm still gonna try really hard to do that. Um, it's just been super busy. It's been a rough week at work. I had a coworker out. Um, her son had COVID and thankfully she tested negative and they just had mild symptoms uh, or he did. So work has just been crazy and time is limited um, and just trying to get everything decorated. I de we decorated the outside this weekend and then a transformer blew um, down the street. I was worried that all of our lights outside did that but my fiance being an electrician and all um, reassured me it was not my fault. But, um, so stay tuned to the channel if you're interested in holiday decorating. Hopefully within like a week, I'll get that put out. Um, but other than that, I'll just keep an eye on some sales and hopefully bring you more content soon. Um, and I think that's all I have. I have bowling tonight, so um, it's a Monday night. I am going to maybe try to edit this video before then and get it posted, but I don't know if I'll have time. So you may see this tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. Um, but until then, thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.